I'm happy to have the opportunity to address you all here on this wonderful first day of the summer festival. Just yesterday, foreign spies were identified and determined to be a danger to the public. However, they have since been apprehended. I thank the Heimdall Military Police, the Railway Military Police, and the Imperial Army for their work containing the threat. I'd also like to thank the Courageous for detaining a suspicious ship and the Bracer Guild for their assistance. But most importantly, I'd like to commend these people here before me for their direct and substantial aid in resolving this incident. The students and instructors of Thor's military academies main and branch campuses. I am Olaf Craig, commander of the Imperial Army's 4th Armored Division. As of yesterday, the total number of arrests stands at 94. We believe it's now safe to say this crisis has been averted. As representative of both campuses, I, Aurelia Le Guin, am pleased to report there are no casualties or major injuries from any student or faculty member from either campus. The results of their training are clear. In Emperor Eugen's stead, allow me to give you both the highest praise and thanks from the depths of my heart. Arise, O youth, and become the foundation of the world. Nothing makes me happier than to see you carrying on the will of Emperor Dreykels with such drive. Now we shall begin the award ceremony on behalf of the Imperial Household Agency. Will the representative from each school step forward, please? Yes. Yes. Instructor Schwarzer, can we get a shot of you shaking hands with the Prince? We heard His Highness took command of the Thor's main campus students. Well, you led your team to deal with another huge threat. That's amazing, Instructor. I'm sure the people would love to see a photo of the country's Prince and its biggest hero. A fine idea. What do you say, Instructor Reen? Yes, though it's too great an honor for the likes of me.
Hey, Reen, congrats on the award. General, Schwarzer has arrived. Very well. Show him in. Also, make sure no one disturbs us, warrant officer. Understood, sir. Thank you for coming. Schwarzer, you truly did an excellent job. Oh, I simply stayed behind to commend you on a job well done. I trust you to lead the students of Class 1 to the party this evening. I apologize for the behavior of some of the main campus students. <laughs> True enough. I'm not from Thor's myself, but that's exactly what I'd expect from the kind of school that gave us Prince Oliver and Major Clare. Not to mention General Le Guin, Brigadier General Bardius, and Chancellor Osborne. <laughs> My comrade Mueller is also an alumnus. Perhaps had I attended Thor's myself, I would have ended up a completely different sort of person. Maybe. But things happen the way they do for a reason. For example, Elliot ending up in the same class as you. I shall excuse myself now. I plan to return to the Division after the Summer Festival. Hmm. <clears throat> ah. I trust you'll take good care of her. I suppose she is an adult now, and maybe I shouldn't worry quite so much, but... I will endeavor to be a perfect gentleman as ever, sir. We'll meet again, Schwarzer. All right then, here's the story about the Gilead Osborne that Van Dyke and I knew, what happened before and after the Hamel incident, and what we still don't know.
I see. So that's the reason. But why? This is all Van Dyke and I can tell you. We still have no idea what he was up to those three months he was missing. Nor do we know his reasons for becoming Chancellor, or the direction he intends to take Erebonia. The only one who could possibly approach him about these topics is you, his son. Uh... The only man I can call my father is Teo Schwarzer. I don't have many memories of the Chancellor, and those that I do are distant and fragmented. Mm-hmm. Understandable. I heard much about Teo back when I served under Osborne. He told me there was a young nobleman about my age who was like a younger brother to him. I'm sure their friendship was the reason he left you with Teo. That's the impression I got from the letter my father sent me. And... I have no doubt the Chancellor's blood runs through my veins. I don't know what exactly happened in the attack, but at the very least, I remember how concerned for my safety he was. Reen, I pray you grow up strong and healthy. Oh, Adios, if you're listening, hear me now. Please allow this child. However, I can't accept what he's done since then. What he's still doing to this nation. The way he completely crushes everything in his way. The way he nonchalantly ruins lives and sows chaos. It's monstrous. And also, he's planned to invade Calvert. <clears throat> That's why I at least want to question him. Not as his son, but as someone whose life he saved 14 years ago. Despite all the things he's done since, I can at least believe in his words from back then. Tonight's party at the Imperial Palace will likely be my only chance to talk with him. There are so many things to ask. The truth behind recent incidents, his relationship with certain groups, where he's taking this nation. I don't know how just yet, but I will get him to explain himself. I see. Back when we first met, when you were still small, I believed our families would grow close together. Though that wish may have never come true, you and Elliot did end up meeting. I truly believe that much was the will of Adios. Do what Van Dyke and I couldn't. Find the truth behind Chancellor Osborne. Make him understand you and your friend's wishes. Yes, understood.
Um, Reen? I just want to say... Thank you. You've been so kind to me ever since we met two years ago. You saved me during the terrorist attack. And both me and Cedric during the Civil War. And now, you've saved Heimdall from a crisis yet again. You've even made peace with Cedric. I thank Adios I was able to meet both you and Elise. Princess! <laughs> I just wanted to let you know how thankful I am. I knew if I didn't tell you now, I may not get another chance to do so. Oh. Well, I am the princess. I'm certain the point of no return is nearly upon us, but I'm equally certain that you and everyone else with whom I flew through the sky during the Civil War will be okay. That's why, no matter what should happen, keep your gaze fixed firmly forward and never lose hope. it may not be much, I'll lend my strength to the cause as well. As a subject of Erebonia, and as your friend, I will continue to support you, your highness. Reen. Oh gosh, I've been thinking so hard about so many things. But both of you are so sincere and kind, I've decided I'll just have to keep you both. It seems like I'll have to ally myself with you after all, Elise. Together, we'll form a powerful team that won't lose to Elisa, Laura, Emma, or anyone else. Oh, but we'll need to be careful about Muse. That vulture might just swoop down and make off with the prize while everyone else is fighting. <laughs> I can certainly see that happening. We should definitely be careful of her.
Um, Reem, could we stay here together just a bit longer? I'm so happy I was able to spend time with you like this again. I feel like the Reinford group is going to get busier than ever. Yeah, honestly, I'm a little scared. It looks like the new railway cannons will start seeing active use soon. Tens of thousands of tanks, thousands of Panzer Soldats, and a new model of battleship. To think that tens of thousands, no, hundreds of thousands of people will be using these weapons. And that my mother, my family, is responsible for it all. Reen! Thank you. I can't tell you how happy it makes me to hear that. I feel like I'm strong enough to overcome anything now. I'll try to give you that same strength. So... What's up? Got a sec to chat? Sorry, but uh, I'm gonna cut right to the chase. Can you meet up right now? Yeah, something I gotta talk to you about on the down low. If you're busy, no pressure, but if not, meet me at the station.
Uh, um, instructor, is it okay if I, uh, take a picture? Um, I'm sure you already know, but my brother and sister are big fans of the Ashen Chevalier. I never really had a good chance to ask, but I thought maybe now might be a good time? What? Well... <laughs> Fine. I'll do it. I'll do it for Ken and Nana. <laughs> Thank you so much! I'm sure Ken and Nana will love it. Yeah, I found out... Wait, Reen, before you go, I've got a favor to ask. Could you... pat me on the head so I can keep doing my best on this path? Hmm. Yeah, considering the way Erebonia is headed, Ouroboros is up to something, and I'm sure they'll hire even more Jaegers. And Zephyr? The boss, Zeno, and Leo, they've got their own plans. But me, I'm going to keep giving it my all. As Fee Clausel, former Jaeger, current Bracer, and forever a member of Class 7. For you and everyone else, to prove the path I chose was the right one. <laughs> Dumb. 
That doesn't sound too bad, I guess. Got it. Give me the dirt. <laughs> I'll send you.
Oh, hey! Are you for real? You just can't turn down requests, can you? One call and you come running to the rescue.
Now, 